Are you trying to set up an eBay seller account, but not sure what steps to take? Well, in this video, I'll show you how to do it step by step with the most up to date information. I'll show you how to create eBay seller account, how to connect your bank account to eBay and how to set up shipping and return policies. I'll cover everything you need to be ready to start selling. You can start your own e-commerce business on eBay from anywhere in the world. Listing items on eBay is free and you're only charged a percentage of the final sale price, which is around 15% plus 30 cents if an item sells and you get 250 free monthly listings. So make sure to watch from beginning to end so you don't miss any important information in the process. So let's start with step number one, which is creating a seller account. When you're creating an account, you need to choose between a personal or business account, depending on your stage. If you are an individual and you have not opened a business yet, you choose the personal account. And if you are already a business owner and you're able to provide all your information, and then you should go for the business account. I just wanna make it clear here, a quick note, there is no difference between personal or business account in terms of your selling benefits. This is very important to know. These options are only for legal purposes. And if you are a business owner and you want to report your expenses and activity, you would prefer that the account and billing from eBay would be on the business within business information. Now for this example, I'm gonna create a personal account. So let's jump here into my screen. Well, first thing you go to ebay.com and then you see here sign in or register then you click register and this is where i uh, talked about the personal or business account so we're going with the personal account for this example i'm just going to type here first like just a test and then you click create an account so after you create an account it's time to connect your bank account to ebay and how can you do that by the way if you like the video please like it subscribe to our channel thank you so much okay let's move to step number two how to connect your bank account to eBay. So I think the best way is also to jump to my screen and I'll show you and go over everything here. All right, and once you have your eBay account, you just go to your account name here and you go to account settings and then you're gonna see something like this, payment information, you select payments. And then you will have the option right here, add payment option. And once you click it, you will have credit card or uh, to link to credit card or to link to bank account. And you fill that information and click next. Cool. And for international sellers like me, you can use Revolut or Payoneer to create a bank account and connect it to your eBay account. When you're selling items, you have to make sure that your shipping and return policies are appropriate to your stores. And look, many sellers don't really give this step the attention that it deserves. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's go over step number three, which is how to set up shipping and return policies. Let's jump into my computer here and make it more easy to understand. All right, so now we'll set a shipping policy. So if your item was shipped from the US for the shipping policy name, you can type something like uh, ship from US. You may also add a policy description and of course set as default shipping policy. And then you scroll down here, you can select the carrier company, like the shipping company that you use. And of course the days, the number of days it takes for the item to get to your buyer. Then once you have selected your services, you go on the right side and then you have the cost and the shipping cost and each additional cost. For example, if your buyer has chosen to buy more than one item and you can always also offer free shipping. Let's move to handling time. Um, here you can select the handling time. For this example, I can put like three business days. And this means that within three business days, I would need to ship this item to my buyer, okay? And here we have the international shipping and you can click here, select the options that you want. For example, flat, which would be like the same cost to all buyers. And then you can choose where uh, you ship to, for example, worldwide. 
or you can also like put a customer location or Canada, but let's just put worldwide. And then services, I, ex I select the expedite um, international shipping and then the costs, for example, it's, let's just say it's $29 and for each additional, I can just place here like nine. And uh, next, let's talk about shipping rate tables. You can apply domestic shipping uh, rate table or apply international shipping rate um, table. So let's go ahead and create a rate table. Um, and this is because you may charge your buyers um, like different rates. So this all depends on the state and of course your shipping company. And if all of the same rates apply to every state, then you can just ignore this, like the shipping rate tables. And lastly, you can create an exclusion list where you exclude shipping locations. So here you basically choose which country you're not shipping to. And after you have selected all of the countries that you do not wish to ship to, you can just go ahead and click apply. All right, and once you're done, you just go to the bottom and click save. Let me show you how to create a return policy. First, you're going to give your return policy a name. And so let's give this policy a name like uh, return paid by buyer. And so when it comes to this particular return, this will be paid by buyer. Now, down below, when we go to the return policy, we do have to select here domestic returns accepted. And of course, if you had international shipping for this particular item, or if you know that you sold it abroad, you also have to select international returns accepted. So now under the domestic returns accepted, after receiving the item, the buyer should contact you within 30 days. So this gives you 30 days to take back the item. Then of course, you have to return shipping, um, which will be paid by the buyer. So here you have to select buyer, okay? And right below that, you can also select replacement or exchange available. And now if you want to return shipping to be free, you can go ahead and select here of uh, seller free returns uh, for both domestic and international. And of course, once you have everything filled out, just go to the bottom and make sure to click save. So that's return, um, so that this return policy is saved. Signing up an eBay account is a quick and easy process. And it's just the first step to become a successful eBay seller. And if you wanna learn more about selling on eBay, make sure you watch the videos up here, all right? Keep moving forward and see you next time.